What's up ladies and gentlemen, it's Brennan and I'm BmanX45 and today we're coming at you with another video. I have another battle report update uh, for the most recent regionals that just took place this last Saturday. Uh, I took Shine Greymon again. I came in top 118 and we're going to go over it and kind of give you the facts and uh, share how I felt about the event with you. Um, so you know. Hey, hey, if you enjoy this type of content, be sure to smash that like button, comment down below. We'd love to hear your thoughts. Subscribe to the channel and hit the bell for notifications so you don't miss a single bit of the fun. Yeah, so let's get into it. I came in uh, the top 128, so 118. I Overall, I pretty much did the same as I did last time. Um, I think 104 was the last time. And there was nine rounds this time instead of eight. Um, so it didn't go as long, which uh, I actually had a better record because um, it was four, four wins. Yeah, four wins, um, two ties, and and three losses. So about about the same because if, without the ninth round, the without one of those ties, it would have been the same kind of record as last time. Um, There's a couple times I probably should have been able to win both my ties. Um, one of them was just due to time. I, I could have won, won the next turn. Um, just we were in time and unfortunate. Uh, my opponent didn't finish his turn fast enough. Uh, and then the other tie, uh, the other tie was going to be. Um, I should have won, but I misplayed. Um, and then he won in um, like right into time, so we didn't even play game three. So yeah, so my first two matches were really good. I won, and then I lost my third match. Uh, won another one, lost, kind of back and forth. Did a couple of ties, and then I lost um, to a, in round eight, I, it was my third loss. I lost to a, um, I think it was a Bloom Lord player. No, no, no. Yeah, might have been a Bloom Lord. I think it was a Bloom Lord player in round eight. I can't remember now it's just um, I know I had some really good great matchups the last matchup I remember clearly it was against Crossheart and uh, I came out of the gate hot won the first game and it looked like I was going to win the second game too like I said until I misplayed a little bit um, but yeah the matches just took a long time so I played the exact same deck that I played last time so you can see here my Shine Greymon deck profile, nothing's changed. Um, this is the way I like it. This is the way I feel it's good. The TKs add so much to the deck. Um, and what, when you can't get your pieces off your draws, he allows you to get your pieces out of your security stack, um, which is great because you, if you Geo Greymon early enough, you'll know what's in your security stack, so you'll know if any of the pieces you're missing are in there. So you can potentially do a Rise Gray play um, to play the TK for free, or you can play the TK uh, just on the board if you have to. You can also use the um, Shine uh, Sunrise Buster if you need to go against your opponent to play the TK for free, which did happen. Um, did have a few games where a few cards came up that um, were not too favorable. Um, the uh, the Agumon X Antibodies, I feel like, are the weakest card in the deck, but they are really nice to have because um, they do force you to play if you don't draw any other level 3s. They do place you to play it on the field because you can't put it in the back on top of your Coromons. But I definitely do like the yellow Coromon egg, um, which is not showing in here, but I definitely um, I do play the four yellow Coromons, um, which, which I do, do really like. Um, but they're just not as strong uh, with the, the Agumon X antibodies. That 1,000 DP uh, does make a lot more of a difference than the than the Coromon from um, BT5 that draws you a card because you don't attack with your stack that often. Um, unless you're going for game, really. You barely ever attack with your stack because uh, so, you don't want it to die. Um, so, yeah, generally the Coromon's, Coromon's good. Um... I think the yellow one is better, but I think it does make those X antibodies a little weaker. Kudamon was still an all right card. Um, does really help. Um, sometimes you just can't get to your pieces. Um, this is right here. I really enjoy the BT2 Shine Greymon. Had some great plays with it. The blocker guy too. I don't feel like I'm missing anything. 
by not having either one. I mean, this is still your preferable guy right here, but uh, they're still all both really great. Um, and then of course the Rise Greymons, I perfect, I love the ratio perfectly. I barely ever wanna see this guy. Um, so having four of that, two of that, and two X antibodies is perfect. Um, allows for a lot of cool plays. This at three is, I think is pretty good. Um, I know it sucks when you have to put them under the deck, but you have so many other ways of activating your guys that uh, I think three is still fine. Um, this guy's good too at two, just because the draw power inheritable is really good. And I do like these ratios right here. Of course, we will be changing this when this guy goes to one. I mean, you'll probably be playing, you know, running four and four. If not something else, sorry guys, a little tired. It's early in the morning, but yeah, um, it was overall a really great tournament. Um, uh, probably the best I've ever done. Um, considering, and uh, I was hoping to place a little bit higher, and I would have had I had one of those, you know, had I won one of those ties. Uh, and yeah, no, it was it was really good. I'm glad to get top 128 because I got another event pack. But other than that, I wouldn't change the deck. I don't know. I have another regionals this Saturday, and I don't know if I'm gonna you know play a different deck. I was considering playing all force because I really do like all force. Um, but uh, this is really consistent and I know it and it's really fun and just the different plays that you can you know get into are really cool so you know we'll see I, I might uh, I might play this I might play something else but right now I've really enjoyed my time the regionals was really great and you know I did well uh, so I thought you know let's let's keep it going anyways but yeah so uh, Tell me what you guys think. Do you like this? Do you think I should play something else? Um, do you think you know this is worthwhile? Uh, and this is probably the last time I'll be able to play it at full power because Geo Gray is getting hit on the 17th, so it might be worthwhile to you know take this to this event because it's the last one I'll get to play those three uh, those four Geo Grays. Um, so tell me what you guys think. Should I take this to the tournament? Uh, and uh, tell me how you like the deck and if you like these battle reports. Uh, anyways, looks like that's all the time we have for this video. Thank you very much for tuning in, and we hope to see you in another video. And as always, have a wonderful day, and that's all for now, folks.